No, don't be good ass. Hey, Dylan. Do, do something uh, a little bit different this time. Let's hold on one second. Let me get some music. Get some music here. Found this new album, Grow House, from the original motion picture soundtrack. Queen that dope. Explicit. Right there. Do it. That's back to here. Right. from uh, Zoolander, you know, um, his agent, Ballstein. <laughs> that was a funny movie, man, Zoolander. And uh, his agent, Ballstein, played by uh, his father in real life. You know, he's like, trying to take away his, his kick. If I could just cut this. And I like that. So I always say, cut this. Anyway, so I took my cut this. 
Down in his food. Don't remember my name. Cause I can't stop. How does she? And the nigga can not stop. Walk up in the car line. Drop away. And that's fine. And that's what she's fine. And that's what she's got. Man, you bitches stick on me. Don't do my body. And sit on my neck. I just want to explain. And down in his food. Don't remember my name. I can't be. Don't remember my name. 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 Really nuts that the first time I kept reading like 
not afraid to be confused. People that did the open never went back to the clothes. And I was like, oh man, man, it looks even pretty cool, right? So I got my first open pair. Kill them with the shows. Everybody in this bitch kill them with the shows. 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 Um, ear pads made by the, the company Wicked Wicked Ear Pads, and it was really odd actually because a good ear pad is going to run you at least twenty bucks typically. Okay, you can get cheap ones, but like I said, a good one. But um, these ones were made for the Bose um, headphone. You can see what I did was I super glued it onto the the natural one, because what I found was this covers your ear, my ear, <laughs> everyone's got different ears, my ear fits perfectly, it just snug, snugly right in there, it's real nice, this is so amazing, and of course the fourth, the cannabis leaf pattern, you know, I love to support my uh, cannabis friends whenever I can. And you know, I'm an act, I'm a Hawaiian herb man. So anyway, these are my first opens, okay? And then um, I was reading about this company Sennheiser. You know, I think it's German, it sounds German. So uh, I went on eBay where you can find crazy deals. And uh I used the yeah, okay. This is the, oh good, you can see it, HD555, okay, and you can see it's fully open, of course, you know, these are my field of flow, right there, and uh, you can see, I got another pair of these wicked pads, oh yeah, what else, this is another one of them, lessons, because, um, Amazon had these here ear pads, the ones that work perfectly for me, for six bucks, man. And those wicked pads are twenty-two dollars plus. I was like, why are they selling them for six dollars? Because they're really cool, man. And, and a lot of people have bows, so you know. Anyway, so what I did was I bought I bought my first pair, and I like them so much. Like I've been saying. I went back and, and, uh, and I, I tried to buy like six pairs, um, but uh, they sent me two of the wrong ones, the circular ones for another booze, and I wrote them off like, yeah, you guys sent me the wrong ones, what's up? And they were like, well, you know what? We actually discontinued this, and that's why they're so cheap, but I'm gonna send you the last three sets that we even had. I'm just gonna send them to you. I was like, cool. That's a cool. Yeah. I wish I knew their name, I'd tell you. Because you know, they deserve it. They deserve a shout out for doing such a thing. Anyway, those are Sennheiser 555s. And by the way, they sound great. They really, I, I read some reviews about them. And, uh, oh yeah, on eBay, you know, because those are. You know, when they first came out, I don't know, they were $150 plus. And I got them for uh, $48. Yeah, $48. They had a couple of scratches. You know, but the headphones were great. You know? Plus, a lot of these people in the headphone community will tell you. I mean, every one of them almost will tell you. Headphones sound better once they've been broken in, meaning once they have a certain amount of hours. This thing keeps falling down. It's really stupid with my mustache sticking out on it. So I'm trying my best. Anyway. So I got them already broken in. But they still had these. What, what Sennheiser is known for is this HD 500 series starts at like HD 518. Then there's the HD 
558, um, then there's the, uh, I think, uh, 578, anyway, and then there's the 590, which is the most popular and most expensive, and you're getting up here $200, but then there's the 599, which is this one, there's, you know, just before the HD 600, which goes to the next level of needing certain um, amps to drive it because it's a difference in ohms they're called, impedance, and you need an amplifier because this is only like 50 ohms, and you can listen to it with a regular cell phone if that's your thing. I don't use cell phones, but you know, I use this iMac. But um, if you go to HD 600, it's like 300 ohms, and then you need an amp. Or if it's too quiet, I, just, I don't know. Anyway, um, so they have a lot of HD 500 series, and, and a lot of people were saying they're basically very similar, except Sennheiser tries to, um, I'm going to use the phrase, dumb it down, you know, because what they're trying to do is say, well, if we only offer them, like, an HD 5.5 whatever, um, then, um, but if we offer them, like, seven different HD 500s, then everyone will be like, oh, well, let me try the new one, you know, the new one, let me, you know, because that's what they're pretty stupid, you know, they, they re, that's called rebranding, basically, they, give you the same product and put a different label on it. I mean, actually, I'm glad I mentioned that because that's basically Lucifer's game. You know, I hate to, you know, I, I don't hate to actually, I think it's important to break that down nice and clear. Lucifer's game is basically, you know, when, when this whole thing jumped off, he got jealous of God and the way he was favored. Not necessarily favored us, but you know, it was like we were his creation and he doted on us like a good father does. And Lucifer was like the jealous brother, like the older brother, you know, Archangel, older brother. And he was like, ah oh, man, you know, I don't like all that doting on him. Everybody's had an older brother like that. I've got two. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, <laughs> Anyway, Lucifer, not only was he jealous, but he took it, he took it up a level. Yeah, hold on, man, this song sucks. What the hell is this, dude? Six of Series Pansy has... Oh my god. This guy's gonna drive me nuts. Is this song over? Well, it's not. That changes, man. This is crazy. Her changes, dude. You're like a serious plus, dude. Snoop Dogg featuring Wiz Khalifa. Okay. I'm not gonna go into Snoop Dogg right now, but you know, he's, uh, I got some things to say about that skinny motherfucker. But do that another time. Anyway, back to the Sennheim. So what they do was, here's what they do. Inside, underneath this ear pad, where the driver is, they put like this thin paper, like half paper, half cardboard, like thing over the driver, so that the sound has to filter through that and thus dumb it down per se. These don't have it. Like I said, these are the 599s. These are the super duper 500 series. You know? Um, but like the 558 had it. And uh, I have another 500 series. So what I did was they, they show you on YouTube. It's called the 500 series mod. You just go in and throw a little knife or whatever. And take that. Just peel that thing out. And they make it kind of hard. You can just peel it. You gotta like peel it tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny,
Yeah, this is the, uh, the Cineware News Now works in the mysterious Wiz HD 500 version You can see the Wicked Pads again Like I said, they, they sent me uh, three Plus the one I had originally bought So I got four This is the 558 This is the 555 This is the 558 and um, I did the doctoring on the mod, it had the cardboard, and uh, you know, okay, this, the reason why I put the wicked pad on is because my ear was touching, my ear was touching that in there, this thing wasn't thick enough, some people have complained, others have it, plus, this right here is a galore, um, a lot of people are like, I really like these Sennheiser a lower ear pad. You know, I don't. I like this face leather stuff. It's really nice. It's very nice. Anyway, he's a five five eight. And you know, like I said, these are my go-to now because I always wanted these. You know, I read about the five nine nine. Everyone was like, they're all music. You know, some people usually say, well, you know, this group likes it, this group don't, this is very few. I, don't, I didn't find anyone who said anything negative about this. I was like, I gotta have them. They're really, really expensive likes. But even on eBay, you couldn't get a used pair for under 180. One time I came close, I put in like $125 offer. She was asking 134 and I tried to haggle. I was like, well, I'll give you 125 And she was like, she said, okay. But I didn't officially, set, you know, make it official. And I said, well, let me just think about it. And then when I got back to her the next morning, she was like, they sold. <laughs> and I was like kicking myself, you know. But, you know, like I said, I get 250 a month, and that, that 120 that 135 uh, was uh, I think know, I need more than half. But so, like back that. then, I didn't realize how important headphones could be. These are top three of material things. I mean, when you experience sounds on a good headphones, let me tell you, it's a world you have to go back to over and over. It's, it's amazing. So I really wanted these. These were these were my favorite. And uh, recently, and this is nuts almost. This person put these basically brand new. These are brand new, but you know, officially they're used. The light new. They're open box new. And she was a power seller. Even he or she had sold over a thousand things on eBay, and it was like ninety nine percent. It was all good. It wasn't like someone faking you out. And they put them up for ninety nine dollars in a bid. Thing, you know, and uh, I was like, all right, well, you know, I don't usually do these because they're gonna just go up to like 200 anyway. But I, I did. I put in 99. I put in a 99 dollars, and uh, every day it was like a seven-day auction. You know, I kept saying, you're the currently the winning bidder. Do you want to bid more? And I was like, wow, cool. But then day one, day two, day three, day four. And then on the seventh day, I was like, all right, well, what's going to happen is people are going to jump in in the last minute, easy style. That's what you do. You jump in and you try to grab it without the thing going, the, the, the bid going up too high. And, uh, Guess what, guys? Nobody else. You don't have them. It was out in here. Here's what. Here's what I had. Here's what I had going on. I had 152, 52 in my bid, ready for the last minute for when that thing started climbing. Cause I was ready to spend 150 dollars for these early ones. And it just never happened. I had my hand on the button and I had practiced it. When it hit on um, 12 seconds, and it was my styling. I 
press the button, and it hit it, so that if someone tried to put in like 110, 120, and it was climbing up real fast, my 152 hours would still grab it. But nobody ever did. And when the, when the time ran out, it said you are the winning bidder, $99, $10 shipping, I got these for $110. I was, was flabbergasted. I was so thankful to God for this. I got so thankful. When I wrote the person, I was like, I wanted to apologize to them. I swear to you. Because I was scared. Because I've had it happen before where I got in a crazy deal and they canceled the auction, you know, as to try again, you know. Which is natural. I mean, if you want to put something up for auction and um, you expect to get $100. And you only get like half, then you're gonna be kind of like thinking, oh damn, well maybe I should just cancel this thing and try again, right? Yeah. Well, they didn't. Like I said, they were one of the power sellers and they obviously had a lot of integrity. So someone from Minnesota, Fargo style. <laughs> And, uh, so I, I was so happy when I got this in the mail. And I also ordered these, um, these obviously aren't the wicked because these are land skin, okay? This is land skin. And typically these are very expensive, like $40. But I found them on Amazon for, um, Neo Musica is the company. I found them for $20. So I got them and I was worried they were going to be really cheap. They're really our lambskin. You can smell it. And they were a little bit tough. So what I did was I was like, well, I got to put some lotion on it. And I didn't have, you know, here's my quotes. I didn't have leather lotion. So let me tell you what I did. I found, um, got it right here because I, I often put a little bit on there and keep it soft. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. That's Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I stole it from my mom because it's, uh, it's lemon butter. That's all it is. But, you know, you take off the thing. Take off the thing like that. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Baby. That's it right there. And you, uh, take a little bit, like, you know. And as you do this, your, the temperature of your finger makes it viscous or whatever. And then you, uh, and then you, uh, just, just be like that. You massage it in. See, get a little bit. And, uh, make it nice. And this, uh, the leather likes that because leather doesn't like to get dried out, you know? So you wanna, and since, you know, these are just little guys, I can put, go to it a couple times a day and get them real nice and soft, and they smell good during near my nose. So, anyway, these are my main pair, but I'm trying these today to master up a PG semi open. Um, these are definitely my main pair, and if I was only allowed to take, if God said, okay, you gotta get going, grab a bug out bag, it's time to get yourself to rock your to do this thing, these would be the first thing I'd grab. You know, there's, I won't go into the other things right now, maybe I'll do it another time, but these are very important. I try to stuff this iMac in a, in a duffel bag because, you know, I gotta have my way into cyberspace. And, um, you know, it reminds me, all you dudes working on, like, a 13-inch laptop, you know, like, in the coffee shops, why don't you, like, get, like, a 20-inch 21.5 inch iMac like I have and stuff it in a duffel bag and like put it over your shoulder and take it to you know the coffee shop and just put this sucker up there and put like one of them little um, power packs and plug it in because let me tell you man I was using a 13.3 inch MacBook for like two years and the first time I watched a movie or UFC you know on this I was like, what have I been doing? You know, and, and I was so grateful because I realized 
God could have told me. Whatever I'm down and I get back to my sister. I roll my motherfucking fat to back to myself. Me to Leave it to me. I'm I'm back. Back. America be legalized, but I ain't believe her. Till she finally no. did it. Open and, uh, work, but I'm still committed. All things so now, I'm gonna let a G. Back Slow back down and dead. Gracefully gazing into the sky. I might have been this smoke just to get by. But I see things much different. Medically, physically, mentally. Theoretically, so, uh, put it in a letter so you let it be. One day we're all agree to have that peace that upon the big crime tree. If I had my way, at 428 day, you could oh, blaze a J and not have now. to answer to nobody. I live my loud, life man. like this so let's that's go. That's an example right there. Because those things are semi-open, um... I couldn't tell the volume on this thing because on an open one you can hear outside, you know, which is better. If you're in an environment where you need to hear, you know, like walking down the street, you don't want a closed head when you can't hear nothing. But with these, there you go, I can hear it. I can hear the volume. You know. You think you can smoke so. like me and sweet, don't try to compete. I'm still blazing anyway, with you. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much down. done with this so video. I have no idea how long it was going to be soon. It's a necessity. Holy if cow. I got a little sick, get the best of me. Even sorry, man. Why? Well, I'm not sorry. Because it just flows like this. But anyway, I'm signing out now. Then you just all take care of it right there.